to really get the word out, we need more than just celeb endorsement. I need the press to write about us. Hi, Joe. Hello, Joe. Nice to meet you. I'm Trisha. Glad you came to see And before we know it, the power of the grey rinse has some of Britain's most influential fashion editors flocking to our shop. Hey, morning, Calgary. Good morning. God, you look amazing. Right. Good to see you. Calgary from British Vogue. I'm going to hand you over. OK. I'm in your hand. I'm stylist. So if I wore that skirt... What would you put on the top? Um, it's actually... simple and get shake it. Nice one, isn't it? What, you what do you think? That's nice. Where you should have nice. guessed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Are you ready to go? If you get a minute, write about it in Vogue, how good it is to charity shop. OK, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> the way fashion works is everything comes back around and again. And rather than going to the high street and buying a kind of this week's copy of something that happened 10 or 15 years ago, you can go to a charity shop and for less money buy a better version of the real thing. It's just a no-brainer, really. Yeah. It's really, really it's elegant on you. This does have that eau de charity shop. Does it? Smell it. it does bit, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the times we live in means that people are going to be wanting to put more effort into finding a bargain. So I think that our readers will be more adventurous about it than I probably am. We'd love you to try and encourage through your column yes. others to shop charity. Donate, don't dump. Yes, I will. Let's go. Lila, get the other side of Lisa so we get a good Lila. I will be writing something. Yeah, I mean, definitely. <laughs> That is so cool. You know what? Look at her hair. You two separated we're kind of, at birth. We're like twins. <laughs> we're sisters. She's my, she's my younger sister. I think it's a great idea for Mary to be doing this because charity needs a better name. It needs a bit of an update. I think people see charity shops as being a bit fuddy-duddy, a bit stale, but in reality, I mean, look at the stuff here today. I mean, this is a great outfit that I've got from Charity Clothes. You can go to a charity shop and bust up a great look, so I think it's really cool. Hey! And just as the day is drawing to a close, the queen of the catwalk has come to check us out. If we can convince Erin to wear second hands, then that's a powerful message to everyone. Hey, how's it going? Right, who's in charge of dressing the glamorous Erin? Yes, what do you do? What do you think? It's very nice. Let's try it underneath. Um, put a belt round it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a belt round it. <laughs> oh, oh, I look like I'm about to be abused. Yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Come in. I'm not sure if it's safe to have Graham so close to a supermodel. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's very exciting. Graham. It's the first man I've had for a while. <laughs> she is a lovely girl. What a smile and what a bone structure her face. Do Would you, in our charity shop clothes, can you do a little catwalk along here? Oh, yeah, go, go, Erin! Oh, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I've got no heels on, but I can't be too anyway. Some of the most glamorous women on the planet have proved today that when it comes to looking fantastic, you don't always have to think new. The idea of picking up something unique is so good. It's a brilliant way of, of looking at it. And, um, yes, I think we're rather excitable in the best possible sense.